The annual rent collected by a certain corporation from a certain building was X percent more in 1998 than it was in 1997 and Y percent less in 1999 than it was in 1998. Was the annual rent collected by the corporation for the building more in 1999 than in 1997? So I'm going to use R for the value in 1997. This is a tricky problem because we have a percent increase and a percent decrease. So statement number one tells us that X is greater than Y, that the percent of increase was greater than the percent of decrease. So naively, you might be tempted to assume that the value in 1997 is greater than the value of 1999. And of course, if we have something like X is a 20% increase and then Y is a 1% decrease, well then of course, 1997 would be greater. But consider this. Let's say that R is just 100 to have a nice round number. Suppose we increase it by 20%. Well, then that would be 120. Now suppose we decrease that by 20%. Well, now 20% of that is $24. A fifth of it is $24. So if it goes up by 20% and then down by 20%, it winds up less. Well, even if it goes down slightly less than 20%, suppose it goes up by 20%, and then it goes down by, say, 19.9%, well, that's still going to be something greater than 20. And so you're going to wind up with something that is greater than 100 as a result. So it's possible for X to be greater than Y, but still for the 1999 value to be greater. Very curious thing about percent increases and decreases. So it turns out that even if we know that X is greater than Y, we cannot draw the conclusion that 1997 is greater than 1999. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two has this complicated algebraic expression. So let's, let's work through this and see what we have here. We start out with R. And then what we do is we multiply it we have a percent increase. Well, to change a percent to a multiplier, we have to put it over 100 and then add 1. So we have R multiplied by 1 plus X over 100. That's an X percent increase. Then we multiply this by a Y percent decrease. That would be 1 minus Y over 100. Well, now between these two brackets, we're going to have to FOIL out. So we get a 1 plus 100 over x, a minus y over x, sorry, 1 plus x over 100, minus y over 100, and then minus xy over 10,000. And of course, we want to know, is this bigger than r or not? So really, the question we're asking is, is this piece here bigger than 0? So x over 100 minus y over 100 minus x, y over 10,000, is that bigger than zero? Well, first thing I'm going to do is multiply it all by 100, just to get rid of some of the fractions. x minus y minus x, y over 100 greater than zero. We'll then move this term to the other side. x minus y is greater than x over y times 100, and lo and behold, this is the very piece of information that we're given in statement number two. So if this is true. It means that this thing here is greater than zero, which means that 1999 is in fact greater than 1997. So believe it or not, this complicated piece of information is actually sufficient. So statement number one is insufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice B.